Hey Internet, my name is Abby and welcome back to Buzz Orin Space Program Manager. In the last episode we were very successfully because we finished the Apollo program within the long term objective deadline. So we finished both lunar landing configurations within the long term uh, deadline. So this is pretty amazing that you can do both things within the deadline without having trouble, so or maybe a little bit trouble, but um, it's doable and this is just great that it's doable. So I really enjoyed this and now we want to continue a little bit with some extra, uh, some visits on other planets. On the one hand, um, Gemini, I'm not quite sure, I just like to keep the thing open, the circumlunar reconnaissance mission, I want to continue Project Apollo. Um, well, I finished this. I can close this. But I like to have the opportunity to land on the moon right away without paying again some money for for just land to on the moon to reopen the program. And I think I will keep the Apollo program open and I will close the Gemini direct ascent. Yes, I want to close this. Um, we haven't done everything in the Project Gemini program. I will just keep this open, maybe I fall back to this, but we have finished the Mars uh, flyby, we finished the Venus flyby, we have the Mariner Mars Orbiter, and we have also the Mercury Visitor. I like to do a Mercury probe, the Mariner 10. Yes, I want to open you. Very good. So, R&D, what do we need? Atlas Center Booster, still in good shape. At first, we need some guys working here on this thing. And the Atlas Centauro booster can get some some improvements. Okay, um, I wanted to research a bit more of Mars, the Mars Orbiter. What about you? 53%, so you need... Oh, no, you're very good with 95 but I have some better guys for this position. So I have three guys left. What will I do next? Um, Mars Orbiter, Mercury. Maybe a bit more about Venus. Venus Flyby, Pioneer. Venus Orbiter. Venus Orbiter, Multi-Probe. Multi Multi-probe. I think I go at first for the Venus Orbiter. Orbiter. Let's open this program. Very good. So what do we need here? On the Atlas Center Booster. Very good. So you three guys can just start to work on the thing. Okay, I said I want to continue a little bit with the... Uh, no. Wrong wrong celestial body. I want to continue a bit with the circumlunar reconnaissance mission because we haven't finished it now, right now. Um, yes, the, the uncrewed lunar flyby test. Let's schedule this mission again. Assemble it. With the best candidates as usual. Very good. So, I just want to do this to show off the, the amazing animations of the Titan 3 booster, I really like. So, um, what else do we have here? 61, 34, 33. Okay, our probes need some, some time to be finished with the development, so I can focus a bit on the um, lunar reconnaissance missions. So we can continue with this thing a bit more because um, I really like the shape of the Titan 3 booster. It's just amazing. It's looking a little bit like the current Delta 4 Heavy booster. It's well not not almost like the Delta 4 Heavy booster, but it's I always think about the Delta 4 Heavy if I see this this animation. So I really like this and it's looking just great to see this huge rocket lifting up. Although it's uh, not as huge as the Saturn V booster, but it's it's just looking very very interesting and very big. So I I like to oh payload deployment. I like to follow it. Okay, 
Our Gemini trend stage is now in space, hopefully. Oh no, we need to insert it into the orbit at first. Now the trend stage should be in orbit, this is very good. And the next thing is we need to launch our Gemini spacecraft to have a rendezvous and a docking with it. And then we can use the trend stage to fly up to the moon. Um, the idea with the trend stage is a little bit, um, well, it's, it's the same idea almost like with the um, cancelled constellation program. With the constellation program there was the idea of at first going to the moon or to go again to the moon and they want to use as well some some kind of trend stage. In this uh, case it was called the um, Earth departure stage. It was uh, main, mainly a booster stage. They wanted to dock to it. They also wanted to dock um, with a lander to the uh, Earth departure stage and with the currently under development um, Orion capsule, Orion capsule. The Orion capsule would be the um, the capsule or the the travel the travel segment where the crew would be sitting in until they reach the moon and establish an orbit around the moon. And as soon as they are reached the moon or uh, well, let's put it in the other way. After using the um, Earth departure stage, they would undock from the Earth departure stage and the whole thing would um, on the one hand maybe crash into the moon or fly out to start to orbit around the sun. Um, I'm not sure in which way they would have decided uh, and what they want to do. Um, so yeah, in both ways they want to separate from the um, Earth departure stage, fly up to the moon. When they reach the moon, they would uh, reconfigure the Orion capsule so it stays in orbit, but all the crew, I think it was four crew members, would um, move over to the lander and the Orion capsule would stay in orbit around the moon um, with no crew on board, only with the autopilot going on. And after they done their mission on the surface of the moon, they would, uh, like in the Apollo mission, use the lander to um, launch again back into orbit and to rendezvous again with the Orion capsule. And finally they would fly back to, to Earth. And it would be a little bit similar to the, um, to the um, Apollo configuration, as you can say, because they won't reuse the lander. And the Orion capsule is almost like the Apollo capsule, so they just w uh, would use it to to return back to the surface of the Earth. And so, so it's pretty interesting to have this docking idea um, going on with the with the Orion, um, not with the Orion, with the constellation. Okay, um, we are happy. We have finished our uncrewed lunar flyby test. Very good. Let's continue with the um, circumlunar reconnaissance mission we have to do at least the man uh, configuration ev as well so let's start the assembly process and proceed with our best candidates as usual and also uh, the best pilots we have currently in our squad okay uh, we have four scientists now left over um, where do I like to put you are you a bit more a little bit better so it's okay no the, the other one was better okay um, you can work on this configuration and pioneer okay here we have some no no not the Atlas Centaur booster here we have some guys left let's use some more skilled guys very good so I still have three guys left. What will I do with these three guys? Um, will I work on the Jupiter? Um, Viking Mars. I think I will just open the next thing, the Viking. Very good. And Oh, we need the Titan 3 Centaur booster. We need a lot of components. So, why are you good at in rocket? Rocket. Um, you're not so good. Okay, at first we want to develop the rocket. Okay. 
I have scheduled a mission. Um, interesting. Okay, end the season. And so, what can we do? We just can proceed and we can launch our, our final lunar reconnaissance mission. So we can finish this, this Gemini project. I'm not sure, will I... Will I do the other Gemini mission to go to the moon or will I more focus on the, the probe missions? Um, yes, it's, it's a difficult decision. What should I do? I think when I finish this, this configuration here with the reconnaissance mission, I will focus... Yes, I will focus on the Jupiter mission again. I just want to to do the Jupiter mission again, although it takes 16 seasons or so, but I really like to do this. And maybe later on I will fall back into the last um, Gemini, or how was it called, Lunar Orbit Reconnaissance mission or so. So the last one of the lunar missions I haven't done uh, right now. Maybe I will do this in this way. Uh, it sounds sounds good to me if I would approach it in this way. So I hope you like this approach as well. And now we are in our launch preparations for the launch of our crew capsule with the Gemini astronauts on board. Let's head off and fly into space. Oh, okay. We won't fly into space. So I think we have to re-improve. What? Are you exploded or no? Oh, come on. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Ah, this is not good. Poor astronauts. Oh, crap. This was not what I wanted. This was really not what I wanted. Poor astronauts. I'm so sorry. This is hard. This is really hard. Um, yes, I was so confident that I will now finish the circumlunar mission and now we had a failure. Uh, where was the failure? Here. There are two guys working on and here two guys working on. So okay, I have still four guys left. I will open up the Jupiter... Can I? No. I think I'm full. Am I? Yes, I am full. Okay. So, um, then I will send the progress to the Viking mission configuration. And you can start to research the Viking orbiter. Very good. Let's head back to space complex. I think we can't do anything. I, I have so much money. I will just upgrade my buildings a bit. Um, this makes no sense. The vehicle assembly building is your last step before launching a mission. By visiting it, you will be able to assemble the mission hardware to assign flight controllers and astronauts. Upgrading the vehicle assembly building to level 2 will allow you to launch lunar missions. Well, I, I have completed lunar missions and I haven't upgraded it. Okay. So, um, but anyways, it's okay. Let's upgrade my headquarter. SET can't be. I can upgrade my mission control a bit. I can upgrade my astronaut building. Uh, it will do something. This is still very interesting. I will upgrade it uh, still. Okay. Um, nice. Very nice. I can just end the season. Or have I anything in good shape? Let me just check this. Marina 9. 80, oh no, the booster, 68%. So I think it still needs some time. Let's end the season. Yes, I want to end this. Uh, the Titan 2 booster, 79. The Gemini spacecraft, 82, very good. Centauro booster, 73 for Marina 9. Okay, so it ne everything needs so much improvement. Yeah, no new use. It's okay. Um, wow. This looks new to me. 
Okay, um, I will just read, no, 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 not the Venus, wrong celestial body again, the moon, I just want to moon. I will retry the thing again for the lunar flyby. Let's schedule this again with the best candidates as usual. And, okay. So, let's end the season, yes. And Marina 10, 72 percent, 77 from Marina 9. Okay, we can launch finally a next probe mission. This is great. But at first, we have to do this this configuration again. I want to follow it from the mission control. Okay, let's let's launch this thing again into space, and hopefully this time we won't have any failures. So let's see what will happen now. I hope we can now finish this and then I can close this program and I can switch over to the um, to the Jupiter mission and start to research the Jupiter mission because I remember that researching the components took me quite a while and um, doing or finishing the, mi uh, the mission uh, as I said took me 16 seasons so I think I really think I I should start very early on to work on the thing. And so yeah, I I really hope that I will finish this this mission configuration right now to to be able to to close this um this Gemini program. Okay, so far so good. We were at the step last time before but then we had this terrible terrible accident in the in the countdown and in the preparations and we lost two of our best astronauts which was really really unfortunate I'm not sure what happened currently we don't have any information about this but I heard this will be implemented someday so we can actually see or hear or read or whatever um, what has happened and so we have more uh, in detail information. Same goes also for the mission. Okay. Okay. Um, yes. Not good. Not good. Ah, uh, yes, and I failed with the with the short-term goals. Her. Huh. But I have no new short-term goals, and I need to. I'm really curious if I mean anybody would want to join my astronaut corps. I think so. There are some volunteers. This is interesting. Although I've lost four astronauts in a row, I have some no some new volunteers. This is interesting. Okay, I should more focus on the on the probe mission. But at first, let me just check out the the new short-term goals. What do we have? Arm um, short-term. God of War. Achieve any of the following goals. Mars Lander, Mars Short Range Rover. Okay. Goddess of Laurov. Achieve any of the following goals. Venus Lander, study of the surface of Venus. Okay. We need to land there. Fortunately, we are working on the Viking mission. This is a lander. So watch the... I said the Marina 10. Mercury flyby. Okay. This thing was in good shape? No, it's 72%. Um... Which Marina was in good shape? Was it the Mars Marina? Marina 9? Ah, uh, 77. Yes, it was the Mars Marina. Okay. Let's assemble it and proceed with it with the best candidates. Okay, very good. So let's just end the season. Yes, end the season. We want to, to launch. Okay, 73 for the Titan II booster, 81 for the Gemini spacecraft. We need some some more time. But at first we want to launch at least our, our Mars mission. Okay, and when we finish the Mars mission, I think we are at the end of 
today's episode, but we want to see at first the Atlas Centauro booster going into space Fire. with our probe on board flying toward the Mars. Uh, I'm I'm really sad about the two catastrophic missions in a row. I lost four of my very best astronauts. This is really a shame. Uh, I'm so sorry. This, this is hard, especially after they done such a flawless job with the um, with the Apollo program. And then I thought, oh, we are we can do just some some flybys of the moon, and then they are losing their lives for for this this compared to a moon landing very small mission. Or and this is this is bad. This is this is so bad. I'm I'm really sorry. Okay, at least our Mars mission seems to be successful, or at least the first step of three steps is a success. And as I said, we are now at the end of today's episode, so I just can say thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my Buzz Aldrin Let's Play series. If you do so, please like my video on YouTube, please become a subscriber of my YouTube channel, and also please leave me a comment what you think about Buzz Aldrin Space Program Manager. And I hope I see you again in the next episode when we continue with our space program. Until then, my name is Zebby. See you!